Hey everyone, this is number three of the rational functions, and our uh, function is r to the x equals 3x plus 3 over 2x plus 1. Um, the top is p to the x, and the denominator is q to the x. Uh, I'm going to go a little faster on this one because we've already done the other two and I went quite a bit slower. Uh, the domain, okay, so basically let's look at this. The degree in the numerator is 1 and the degree in the denominator is 1. That means I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1, or actually 3 over 2 because you're just going to divide these two when the degrees are the same. The domain is what makes uh, q of x 0, so you set 2x plus 4 can't be 0, so x cannot be negative 2. You just write it like this. x cannot be negative 2. This is already in lowest terms, so um, the vertical asymptote is um, um, actually we're supposed to do the intercepts here so basically um, it's already in lowest terms so that means our vertical asymptote is um, x equals negative 2 kind of it matches our step one that gives rise to um, the vertical asymptote and um, we have to locate our intercepts uh, test for symmetry and we also have to determine if it uh, intersects this intercept uh, we don't have a hole because when we reduce to the lowest terms nothing crosses out so we're going to um, start with the asymptotes now so we have r to the x equals 3x plus 3 over 2x plus 4. So we're looking for the uh, intercepts, I'm sorry, the intercepts where y is 0 and where x is 0. So to get that's the y and this would be the x. So when y is 0, you just set um, your numerator, p to the x, equals um, 0. And you're going to get, when you solve, you get the 0 is negative 1. You just, uh, negative 1 equals 3x, so x equals negative 1. And the y-intercept is when x is 0. So basically, when x is 0, these these are just going to go away and we're left with three-fourths. So those are the intercepts. And uh, we're going to test for symmetry. So everywhere there's uh, x, we put negative x. So we get negative 3x plus 3 over negative 2x plus 4. This is neither our original function and it's neither um, negative r to the x. So this is no symmetry. And um, we do have the horizontal asymptote we found as y equals 3 over 2 is the horizontal asymptote. So we have to determine if the graph intersects this. So what we're going to do is set our y's equal each other. y equals y. So our y is 3 halves, and our r or is going to be 3x plus 3 over 2x plus 4. You cross multiply, and you get 2 times 3x plus 3 equals 3 times 2x plus 4. Therefore, we get 6x plus 6 equals 6x plus 4. Um, these cancel, 
you get uh, 6 equals 4, which doesn't make sense. So therefore, um, Rx does not intersect our line y equals 3 over 2, our horizontal asymptote. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and, um, you're supposed to put this in the calculator, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, pretend like you can't do that. And I'm going to pick intervals with my um, vertical asymptote. So my interval, I'm going to pick intervals. I'm going to pick negative infinity to negative 2. Then I'm going to pick negative 2 to negative 1. And then negative 1 to infinity. And basically, the reason I'm picking this, picking negative 2, because that's an asymptote, and I'm picking um, negative 1, because that's a vertical asymptote. And I want to see what's happening in these three intervals. So for the first interval, I'm going to do this. Oops. Well, anyway, see if it works. Okay. I'm going to choose a number. Choose a number. Here, I'll go ahead and choose negative 3. All right. Negative 3. Here, I'm going to go ahead and check. Uh, I'll do negative 3 halves. And here I'm going to check 0, because 0 is easy. And I plug it in to find the value of R. So when I plug in negative 3 into my equation, I'm going to get 3. So the location on the graph is this positive. So that means it's above the x-axis and that means the point on the graph is negative 3 comma 3 and then I'll do this similarly here r of negative 3 halves equals negative three halves. This is below the graph because it's negative and my points therefore would be um, negative three halves comma negative three halves. And then for the last one I'm going to check r of zero to get my y value which is three fourths. That's positive so it's above the graph. And my point, therefore, would be 0, comma, 3 fourths. I'm going to graph this. I'm going to first graph my um, inner set of my asymptote x equals negative 2. I'm also going to graph my y equals 3 halves, which is about 1 and a half, or it is 1 and a half. And I'm going to put my points in. So the first point we had was negative 3, 3, which is here. It, none of this crosses. This was, um, so here it's going to be like that. This is negative 3, comma 3. And then on, I have my y intercept at 0, 3 fourths, right about there. And I have my um, x intercept at negative 1 comma 0. I also tested a point at negative 
one and a half, negative one and a half. This one, this point here is negative three halves, comma, negative three halves. This was my x-intercept, my y-intercept, and I also tested, oh, I don't think I tested, um, this one was zero three-fourths here. That's the one I tested here, zero comma three-fourths. So when you graph it, it's going to look like this. It doesn't cross, so we have the framework there. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.